John saw, John saw of the glancing of the sun. He said, This is the land who gave out his life and would all the way the sins of the world. This is the land. Righteousness, the requirement for entry into God's kingdom. First Bible lesson. 2 Peter 3, 13 and 14 Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of Him in peace, without spot and blameless. Second Bible Lesson Revelation 21, 1 and 2 and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Golden Text, Revelation 2, 4 and 5 Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Brethren, this is the spiritual food we have this morning. I have been telling you every day to stop requesting for money, children, and all these mundane things, because no carnal thing has anything to do in this kingdom. No matter how much money you may have, you cannot enter the kingdom because of the wealth. No matter how educated you may claim to be, you cannot come into His kingdom because of your education. Even if you have many children as the sand of the seashore, you will not be asked to enter because of the number of children you have. Righteousness is the only qualification in this kingdom. You enter the kingdom of heaven by righteousness only. We do not worship money here. We do not worship man or any personality. We do not worship houses, but practice righteousness only. Our problem is to do good works so that we may pass into the kingdom of God and only righteousness is the qualification into this kingdom. Peter has been expecting this kingdom. Paul himself had anxiously waited for this kingdom. Abraham and all the others had all along waited for this kingdom. And so it has been said, All those who are waiting for this new heaven and a new earth have to be blameless and spotless and have to be righteous in every aspect of their lives. There is no need you worrying yourself with all carnal things or asking what will I put on, what will I eat. This is the new heaven and new earth where only righteousness dwells. When you have righteousness, you come in. Righteousness only is the passport and testimonial. Unless you forsake every manner of sins, you will not enter. I made this known to you even yesterday, when you tell a lie, you have no association with me. It is said that here there is wealth, money, and employment, but truthful people are wanted. That is why right from January to December of every year, we are not taught of anything other than to refrain from sins, to have love, to be humble, and to have mercy. Though the kingdom of God is here with men, how to enter into the kingdom has become a problem and a big task. The big task is that unless you are able to do away with all sins, you have no way in there. You have been asked to forsake stealing, fornication, anger, involvement in diabolism, concoctions, and other vices, so that you may enter into the kingdom with joy. But you have refused, saying that you want to go and look for money, marry a wife or husband. You say you are looking for employment, good health and protection. Looking for employment is a sinful act. Looking for protection is a sin. No excuse but to be blameless and spotless before Him. All this while you have been working and doing all the things to help yourself, how well is it with you? And even all those people who have claimed to be millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires, what is so good with them? 
But right here, you have been asked to forsake every manner of sins so that you can come into this kingdom by grace, but you have refused. Sometimes you say, I do not have money, I would have done the work of God. Is money used in doing the work of God? You will also complain, I have no wife, I have not got a husband. Is this something of a wife or a husband that lies before us? I have not got a father, I have not got a mother. Is the matter before us that of father or mother? I have not got somebody. Is this a matter of having somebody that lies before us? Since you are waiting for the new heaven and a new earth, then zealous to do the work of God and be righteous, blameless, and spotless before Him. Righteousness is the only way to this kingdom. I keep on emphasizing and telling you in the morning and in the afternoon, but every day you keep on praying to God, Oh God, please give me money, forgetting that looking for the carnal things is fighting against God. The kingdom of God has arrived now, and only righteousness is required for you to come into it. If you are sick, when you come in you will see what will happen. Are you in lack? Just come in. You have not got somebody? Just come in. Are you alone? Just come in. Are you a child? Just come in. As soon as you enter, all the good things you are looking for are here in His kingdom. God's Promise to Those Who Forsake Carnal Things and Follow Him Why did Christ reply when Peter asked Him what would be their reward for those of them who have forsaken all what they had before and followed Him? Our Lord Jesus Christ replied Him, that when these things shall be made anew, and the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of His Father, those who have been following Him shall also sit with Him on the throne to judge the twelve tribes of Israel, and those who have forsaken houses, children, clothing, landed property, money, or anything, would have things they earlier forsook a hundredfold, and they shall also have everlasting life in addition. Why do you want to go and look for all of these carnal things again? Where do you want to go with them? Those carnal things are not needed here. That is why I have been telling you repeatedly that this place is not clear to you at all. Do you think that when we have anything launching here that Brotherhood is looking for money and cars? All these mundane things are here. Rather, we are not invited to come into this kingdom and eat food, but to forsake sins completely, for this is the only passport required from us to gain the kingdom. Forsake anger, quarreling, fornication, fighting, and other manner of sins. Righteousness is the only credential to make this kingdom. I have been telling you that you should not pray, saying, O oh God, give us money, or take away our problems. I do not welcome such prayers. Your only work is to refrain from sins completely. This is the kingdom of God, the new heaven and a new earth where righteousness is required. It is said that carnal-mindedness is death, but spiritual-mindedness is life and peace. This is the kingdom of God, the kingdom built by God Himself, and every good thing is found therein. But thieves or armed robbers, persons given up to anger, are not admitted. The only passport and credential is to be spotless. It is made clear that no one enters because of wealth, but by faith. Read the first lesson now. First Bible Lesson, 2 Peter 3, 13 and 14 Nevertheless we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of Him in peace, without spot and blameless. No carnal things are admitted into this kingdom. You have noted what the text above says? Is it not what I have been teaching you right from January? O oh God, give me work or employment so that I may use the money to pay tithe unto you. Who is looking for that sort of tithe from you? O oh God, gave me children so that I may use them to pay tithe to you. Who looks for your children as tithe? O oh God, give me money so that I can use it to build a house unto you. This is the new heaven and a new earth. It is a ready-made kingdom. The kingdom does not want money or look for anything carnal from any person. 
It is the long-expected kingdom. You can only come in or enter by grace, through righteousness, and if you do not possess these qualities, you cannot enter. It is said that anyone who would want to save his life will lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for the gospel's sake and me, the same shall be saved. How can one live without an abode? How can one live without having husband and peace? All right, since you are looking for all these carnal things, you are free to go and look for them. But doing so means you stand to lose this kingdom. Carnal things prevent you from entering this kingdom. You will observe that while in brotherhood of the cross and star, at the initial stage you had neither wife nor husband at the time you danced to the tune of brotherhood of the cross and star. Instead of you keeping faith with that trend, as soon as you have a husband, that is one problem. When you have wife, one child, you will find yourself having two problems, two children, three problems. And so some are here about twenty years now. All the activities of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star are far off from them. Their ears are deafened because of the problems they have. A fornicator or liar has no share in this kingdom. Anyone who gets angry or lacks patience will not enter. But I have to assure you that this is that long-expected kingdom. It does not depend in praying. This is the long-expected kingdom of God. God is capable of giving you the best of your needs. It is said that the children are supposed not to feed their parents, rather should be fed by the parents. Food is here. Clothing is here. Children are within this kingdom. Houses and all the good things are found here. Equally, good health, beauty and all things are sufficient here in this kingdom, but righteousness is required. If you as human beings should know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more God who had descended with His kingdom with everything complete? How will He not even be in the best position to give you exactly what you want and what is best for you? Righteousness is the only requirement in this kingdom. This is why I continue to teach you every day until you would have to realize the truth in what I teach you, and then to repent will not be difficult. Because the moment you realize this truth, that it is only righteousness that is required, you will forsake telling lies, and even if somebody thrusts his finger into your eyes, you will not retaliate. If anybody blasphemes against God and does anything provoking to you, you do not retaliate. By that action, you will enter and will see this kingdom shining for you. There are two kingdoms, the kingdom of the world and that of God. There are two kingdoms. One is the kingdom of the world and the other is that of God. The one I am referring to is the kingdom of God. The one which is outside the fence of this kingdom is the kingdom of the world. What is the kingdom of this world? The kingdom of this world consists of money, cars, ocean-going steamers, food, wife, husband, and all the mundane things and glory of this world. It also consists of costly materials. This is the kingdom of the world. In this kingdom of the world also dwells greed, selfishness, fighting, murder, quarreling, envy, strife, hatred, materialism, anger, death, and all other atrocious acts and behavior. The kingdom of God will elude them who dwell in those things. But what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is love, peace, mercy, patience, humility, self-control, meekness, honesty, righteousness, faith, hope, and all the heavenly virtues. If you should fill this hall or any space with money, so long as you do not have peace, your money is valueless before God, and God does not accept such money. If you read one letter sent to the Holy Father from a certain sister who had belonged to the Hare Krishna consciousness, you will see that all she had requested of the Father is the divine love of God. You will realize that God does not want your money or any of the mundane things, but a divine love. This divine love is received when your mind is completely out from the mundane things of this world. Heavenly virtues sustain you in brotherhood of the cross and star. You are all witness to the fact that 
You are not sustained here in the fold of brotherhood of the cross and star because of money. It is not because of husband that you are sustained in brotherhood of the cross and star. It is not children that keep you in brotherhood of the cross and star. It is not buildings or skyscraper or delicious food that keep you in brotherhood of the cross and star. It is not gun or imprisonment that keep you in here, and none of these things would have kept you in brotherhood of the cross and star. All these things abound in the world. You have been given money so that you can leave brotherhood of the cross and star. Have you accepted to leave? You find yourself rejecting money and all the mundane things because you have seen something. What is here? You have seen love, peace, truth, mercy, patience, and righteousness. Have you not seen? It is these heavenly virtues that keep you here in brotherhood of the cross and star. You have forsaken the mundane things of this world because of the divine love you have seen in brotherhood of the cross and star. Do we eat or drink anything here? It is this divine love which is the kingdom of God that keep you here. How do you expect somebody to explain this to you before you understand? This is why many people marvel and ask, What is it that their Father has given to them? It is divine love and humility which you have seen. It is because of this that everybody has forsaken all the mundane things of this world. Because of this divine love, a wife forsakes the husband in the house. In the world, you are cajoled with a girl for marriage, promised money, employment, food and accommodations. This is the kingdom of the world. But here in the kingdom of God is love, peace, truthfulness, patience, humility and all the heavenly attributes. These virtues or qualities draw you close to the kingdom of God. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is a very precious stone hidden in a farm. This is why our Lord Jesus Christ had said that the kingdom of God is like a very precious stone, which is hidden in the farm. If any person finds it, with joy he will go back home to sell his property so as to buy the farm and take possession of the precious stone. Here in this new kingdom, we do not regard any person as being important if he does not have love. We do not regard money because it is valueless. We do not value worldly glory, houses, cars, food, or anything man can think of. We do not value knowledge of any kind. We do not regard all these as anything because of this divine love, truthfulness, righteousness, and peace. This is why we have been giving this advice since we are anxiously waiting for the new heaven and a new earth. We should try to be blameless and spotless before Him. The kingdom of God is with man. Lament no more. Right now, it is foolish for anyone to say, Let your kingdom come. Has it not come? This is indeed the new kingdom. But the problem is how to enter the kingdom. It is pathetic to see somebody going to carry loads to earn a living, struggling here and there to help himself. A person who has already been in this kingdom but is seeking assistance elsewhere need be pitied because that sounds ridiculous and I laugh at his stupidity for doing so. Just look at the right path which you can find all the good things you want even in surplus. There is no hunger here. There is no lack. There is no sickness. There is no problem of any kind. All good things you need are already here in this new kingdom. The kingdom of God is humility. Have you got it? What is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is humility. Humility constitutes the kingdom of God. Right now, you are not humble. How will you enter into the kingdom? This one would raise up his shoulder. I am the one who started Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. I am the eldest son of Obu. The poser is, will you enter? Till doomsday, no matter who you are, you will not enter. I eat from the same plate with the leader. I know the leader. We hail from the same place. He is my father. Will you enter? My friend, you will not enter. Examine the second lesson. Second Bible Lesson Revelation 21, 1 and 2 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. 
And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Listen very attentively. Never you pray, let your kingdom come. This is the kingdom. The problem is, how will you manage to enter because only righteousness is required? If you still have anger left with you, you will not enter. The passport is to be blameless and spotless. Have you not seen the new heaven and a new earth? Have you not seen love, truthfulness, peace, mercy, patience, humility, and joy? The entire inhabitants of the world have seen the kingdom, but what is wanted or required is righteousness, as you have already been told. Therefore, all those who are waiting for this new heaven should be blameless and spotless. This is the only passport you can use to enter into this kingdom. You have to abstain from every aspect of sins. If you quarrel, you will not enter. Nothing is required than righteousness. If you are angry with any person, you will not enter the kingdom. If you begrudge anyone, plan evil against any person, or be malicious against any person, you will not enter. This kingdom of God does not require your wealth, your beauty, your education, or any kind of knowledge. This kingdom is ready-made. Everything is complete and in surplus. It is not something which you will be asked to give bribe, be it money, your house, or use any person to bribe your way into the kingdom. The kingdom does not require all of the above mentioned but righteousness. You do not use your leg to walk into the kingdom because you could be here for 100 years without making the kingdom. One would say, the leader loves me very dearly. This has got nothing to do with your entry into his kingdom. Let go every manner of sins and embrace righteousness. Refrain from sins so that you can come into this kingdom by the sheer grace of God. Have you ever heard that there is any one person which the leader hates? Even if you turn out to say, the leader hates me so much, this does not give you the entrance into this kingdom. Therefore, the kingdom of God suffers violence. How does it suffer violence? It is by righteousness only. If you have seen it, you have to do away with stealing, fighting, backbiting, killing, and all those sinful acts. Go and sell them and buy this kingdom with righteousness. You neither comprehend my teachings nor see God's kingdom. There is no white man here. There is no black man here. No female and no male here. There is no young or old man or children here. No poor person and there is no rich man here. We are all brothers and sisters. Live and let's live, and that is all. It is said that from the words of your mouth, people will know what you are. Then it is through the words of your mouth that I know you have not yet seen this kingdom. And this is why in the morning and in the afternoon, it would not have been difficult for me to stop preaching. But I realize that even though I go on preaching to you, you do not seem to understand these teachings or see this kingdom. Is it when I stop preaching that you will understand or see this kingdom? I have no business with the kingdom of this world. You profess to have hundred cars. I have no interest in such things. You also profess to be a millionaire. I am not interested. You profess to be a king or emperor. I am not interested. All the carnal things of this world which you give high regard is of no interest to me. What do I do with them? They are nothing to me. You profess to have been in Russia, that you have also lived or stayed in America, stayed in Germany, lived in Spain, lived in every part of the country, Nigeria. I am not interested in all these places you have mentioned. They are of no use to me. We should request from God divine love. We should request from God divine love. There is no need wasting your time to count these places for me. You come in here and become so eloquently in speaking English, German, French, Igbo, and other languages. What have I got to do with all these languages? I am not interested. Dear brethren, the only qualification I want is righteousness and divine love of God in your heart. When you possess these, it will direct you, and you will always be in the kingdom of God, because it is through love that everything will be united. 
a sister from Hare Krishna consciousness and her request. A letter from a sister from the Hare Krishna faith has been read here several times, but because of today's gospel, it shall be brought again for reading, so that you can hear the request she had made and what she wanted. Ponder over this. She is a virgin, a pure virgin, a woman who has never got anything to do with a man like sexual intimacy right from her birth. And this is the virgin I want. She is a civil servant with only one dress in all her life. She does not want money and has no need for money. But when she came here, she requested for the love of God. You who are filled with all evil deeds should ponder over this. It is just because she has pleaded that the testimony should not be published because of her members, otherwise this would have been published in the Herald of the New Kingdom newspaper. But she appealed it should not be published for fear of reaction by members of her fold. She has promised to visit her Krishna members and would refer whoever seeks this truth to the source. How Truth is Revealed and Man Changed You think that if you give money to someone, that the money will make the person to know the truth. This is not so. It will not cause him to know the truth. If you should build a house for someone, give him a wife or husband, give him a landed property and anything you can think of, this does not induce someone to know God or the truth. What makes someone to know the truth? It is love. When you see or meet someone who does not quarrel, does not tell lies, is not given to anger, does not bear malice against someone, shows no act of discrimination, but has peace and love. These qualities reveal the truth, attract and change people, and cause people to see the glory of God. The Holy Father does not demand anything from us but love. Some people will say, I love the Father, so let me go and look for some money so that I can use it to do something for Him. Is the Father poor? Do I tell you I want money? Some other person will say, Let me go and look for people for the Father. Is the Father looking for people? Have I told you I lack people? So it is something surprising that you have stayed with somebody for a period of 20 years, and yet you do not know who the person is. You do not know what he wants and what is required of you and expected of him. Golden Text, Revelation 2, 4 and 5 Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Remember the first love. Have you heard money being mentioned in the text above? Have you heard children been mentioned there? Is there any mentioning of husband and wife in this text? Did he mention the kingship and chieftaincy titles of this world? He is referring to the first love, the love of God, the love that has no grudge, the love without discrimination and no trick. Anyone who loves money, loves houses, loves the mundane things of this world, such as cars, the love of God is not there with them. We have been told that even if we should give out all what we have to the poor and even give ourselves up to be burnt by fire, if we do not have love, we gain nothing. The kingdom of God is not food and drink. It has been emphasized that in this kingdom of God there shall be no anger. We do not want quarreling, fighting, telling of lies, discrimination, stealing, forcing or shouting at any person. No sin is required apart from love only. The kingdom of God does not consist in meat or drinks, but in peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Spirit. If it were not so, look at your leader. Where is his car? Where is his bicycle? Where is his slippers? Where is his hat? Where is his suit? Where are his houses? Where is his food? Your pride is in houses and cars, but my pride and joy is in love, humility, peace, and truth. What separates you from this kingdom is anger. If you are thoughtful enough, you would figure it out yourself. Since 1942 till today, I challenge that anyone who could make me angry should come for a handsome reward. Tell date, nobody has picked that price. 
that is food for thought for you, but things of this world do not allow you to think about it. Annoyance belongs to the kingdom of the world. If you are not angry, you cannot say, Woe betide you. You cannot tell lies. If you are not angry, you cannot kill someone. If you are not angry, you cannot indulge yourself in any aspect of sins. What separates you from this kingdom is not money, but annoyance or anger because anger is Satan. Satan is not a snake. Satan is not money or all these things. Satan is the anger that separates you from this kingdom. And what is anger? It is not anger in real sense of it, but it is when you put your mind in the carnal things of this world. You have put your mind into money. Then, peradventure, the money does not come in as soon as you expected. Your mind is disturbed. Since you put your mind into money, when the money comes in a big way, if someone attempts to snatch that money from you, your mind will be disturbed and trouble would set in. Seek for the heavenly virtues rather than the mundane things. I do not want money. I do not need it. I do not have anything to do with money. Because money separates one from this kingdom. You should pursue peace, love, truthfulness, and faith which are needed in this kingdom. It is a very simple thing to enter into this kingdom of God if we should go back from where we have fallen and remember the first love. Love your God with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your heart. Express this same divine love to your neighbor. If money was to be the entry requirement for entering this kingdom, Jesus the Christ would not have told the rich man to go and sell all what he possessed, give to the poor, and come after him. The kingdom of God does not consist in money. If money were to be the kingdom of God, do you think I would have been donating or bringing out money here for you every day? Which day have you heard that members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star have given money to me? Do you know where all the money has been coming from? Every day you say, Father, bless us. What is blessing? Are you not asking me to give you money? And so, brethren, I do not want to take you further. A stroke of the cane is sufficient unto a wise person. Those who have ears, let them hear. May the Lord bless His holy words. Amen. Thank you, Father. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star by leader and teacher Alumba Alumba Abu Compiled by George Morales this is the land who gave out this life who took all away the sins of the world. Those who came before him were thieves, they were robbers. He said, This is the land who gave out this life who took all away. Sins of the world. This is the Lord. This is the Lord. Who gave us life? Who took all away? The sins of the world. The sins of the world. Those he calls are those he has chosen.